Hi everyone, and welcome to part 3 of my Hypercube Evolution build. In today's build, we'll be assembling and installing the X-axis into the frame. All the parts used in today's build will be listed on my website. I've put a link in the description below. Okay, let's get started. To start the build off, we are going to assemble the two ends of the X-axis. On the ends that will be up against the LM10UU bearings, we will need to insert two M3 nuts in the recessed holes. Holding them in place, you want to insert two 25mm M3 screws in the opposite ends. These will help retain the 8mm smooth rods that make up the X-axis. We can also insert four brass inserts in the holes in the bottom. In my case, I'll need to super glue these in place. Next, you want to fit the smooth idler in the back hole of the mount. In my case, to keep it stable, I'll insert an additional M3 washer on the top side of the pulley. You then insert a 30mm M3 screw. On the other end, you insert a brass M3 insert. Make sure that you don't tighten this up too much, as you want the pulley to spin freely. Now we want to do the same for the front toothed pulley. For the initial build, I'm going to be using the MKS Gen printer board, so I will need to insert a little tab for the optical end stop. If you are building the printer with sensorless homing, you can just add a couple more washers instead. Using the 30mm M3 screw and brass insert, we can fasten the pulley and the end stop flag in place. Remembering not to over tighten the screw as we want the pulley to spin freely. Then we do the same for the other end of the X axis. Next, we can assemble the X carriage. On the back of the carriage, we want to insert two LM8 UU bearings in both the top and bottom parts. Then we want to install 10 brass inserts into the holes where the belt retaining clamps fasten down to. Then we can slot all the parts together. As I am using optical end stops, I will also need to fit a small Y axis end stop to the smooth rod. This is fastened down with two 6mm M3 screws. For the moment, we will leave it loose to make aligning the flag with the end stop easy later on. Next we can fit the M3 dowel pins into the front plate of the X axis. Before we install the X axis into the frame, 
we will assemble the Y axis end stop assembly. Finally, we can put the X axis into the frame. Finally, we can install the Y axis end stop onto the frame and align the Y end stop flag. This end stop is to be fastened with an M5 screw and T nut. That completes the assembly and installation of the X axis into the Hypercube Evolution. In the next build part, we will be installing the Z-axis into the frame. Please be sure to like, subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when the next part of this build is made available. If you have any thoughts or comments on this video, please make sure you leave them in the comments section below, as I want to make videos that help empower you to build and make anything. See you later.